EarthCare Teacher Demonstration Hubs, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 263. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is weekly progress update number 263, April 8th, 2018 edition. And today's topic is Earth Care Teacher Demonstration Hubs. What the heck is that? Well, if you look at what's happening in the background of this video right now, these are ideas of teacher demonstration hubs, village models, sustainable community village models that provide for all aspects of living. They encompass the food, the housing, the energy aspects, which are the physical foundations of sustainability, but they also include fulfilled living practices, highest good economic models, highest good education models, and true earth stewardship, which is the earth care aspect of it. Putting them all together with this idea that we can create living environments that better meet the needs of people while simultaneously taking care of the planet and integrating in with surrounding communities and surrounding environments and giving more than they take. So the idea of sustainability is not just sustainability from our perspective, it's also regenerative living. Regenerative for the individual, regenerative for the surrounding communities, and regenerative for the entire planet. Earth care teacher demonstration hubs that provide everything that people need to live fulfilled and abundant lives, but also that regenerate their environments through permaculture, through sustainable construction practices, through sustainable living practices, and inviting, in our case, inviting tens of thousands of people, eventually hundreds of thousands of people to participate. And so what we're designing and all the development, everything that you see happening in the background of the video right now, and everything that we're working on is all about creating those sustainable teacher demonstration hubs so that we can live this way, so we can demonstrate living this way, and so we can invite people to participate and share it. Because we know that if enough people are exposed to this idea, if we can make it easy enough, if we can make it affordable enough, and if we can demonstrate it's attractive enough and expose enough people to this idea, then the concept of Earth Care Teacher Demonstration Hubs will spread across the world. They'll become self-replicating. Easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough is the recipe for creating self-replicating models. And we are open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replication to make it easy and affordable, and then inviting people to participate once we start building everything to demonstrate how attractive it is, and that's our path to creating a world that truly works for everybody. This is our idea of Earth Care Teacher Demonstration Hubs for the benefit of humanity and all life on this planet and creating a sustainable world within our lifetime. If you imagine one community just as a group of 50 people, and it's meant to grow to, to thousands of people living on the property, hosting hundreds of thousands of people eventually, but if you imagine just communities of 50 people, and those communities don't have to be sustainable eco-villages. They can be communities of people within existing cities, building on existing infrastructure, retrofitting existing infrastructure. They can be isolated or remote communities as well and everything in between. But if you imagine groups of 50 people and one community starting as 50, a group of 50 people moving to the property and starting to build. And if that group can stimulate just two additional groups the following year to start the same process using our open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate what it is that we're doing. And if those three groups then can stimulate four more, and then eight the year after that, and the 16 after that, and 32 the year after that, and 64 the year after that, you continue this process for 30 years, we can positively and permanently affect the lives of every single person on this planet within 30 years. And so people say, well, when are you going to start building? And why isn't it happening already? Well, it's happening at the speed that our all volunteer and 100% unpaid group is capable of producing it. And we're making amazing progress. Everything you see happening in the background here is what we've accomplished so far and what we've created so far as we continue to make these step-by-step -step baby steps and then larger steps and checking off huge action items. Once we finally build one community, that's when everything starts going at a much, much, an exponential rate of production. 
and this is what we're moving towards. But first we need to cross our T's and dot our I's and make sure that we have all the details in place so that we have a step-by-step -step instruction manual that we're following and that we can use with everybody else. And then the building process will fine tune everything that we have planned. We'll figure out what we forgot. We'll will create hard numbers for our cost analysis and double check everything that we've been planning and build the first earth care teacher demonstration hub so people can visit it experience it and replicate any or all aspects of the project that they like this is what one community is doing this is what our all volunteer unpaid staff is all about this is what i've been working on now for over seven years and this is how we're to create world change and a world that for the first time truly works for everybody. Simultaneously addressing all the challenges of our generation for generations to come with a malleable, modifiable, open source and free shared model designed specifically to be a solution model purpose for creating additional solution creating models. Models that create solutions to the challenges of our generation and generations to come that are open source, free shared, sustainable, and earth care focused. This is what we're doing. So with that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of Earth Care Teacher Demonstration Hubs, open source, free shared, designed to provide something for everybody. And well, check it out. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team updated the shipping container village open source hub with the newly finished overview images shown here. The core team also updated the treehouse village pod seven open source hub with new floor plans, images, and descriptions. You can see some of these new additions here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his second week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was working on the parts and lumber organization and presentation pages, plus the assembly pages for the nightstands. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 AutoCAD layout updates. Here is update 108 of Dean's work, returning to lighting and texturing fine tuning for the central dining area. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his third week helping update our Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. What you see here are his first three finished renders. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her 12th week working on the Treehouse Village residential renders. This week she created the updated central area renders shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team updated the lighting page with the new spreadsheet and basement layout details you see here. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, continued with her work with the behind-the-scenes development of the city center excavation and construction of the footer and foundation tutorial. This week's focus was finishing the retaining wall calculations shown here. Yoon Lin, bridge design engineer, completed his second week helping with the beam design and calculation aspects of the city center structural engineering. This week he created version 1 of the timber beam design spreadsheet you see here. And Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 69th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was round two of updating the lighting design and modeling for the ground floor bedroom shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued working on the garden tools list. We revised the tools list, transferred the info from Excel into Google Excel, and added more tools, images, and prices, as shown here. The core team also researched pollinator attracting and native plants for our area, as shown here. In addition, the core team continued research and development of the open source permaculture design for the property. This week we finished the phase one zonal planning narrative and graphic updates, as shown here.
One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished developing the lesson plan's how-to tutorial page with the final 70% of the section giving examples of how to use each other component with the lesson plans component. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team rebuilt our search menus and updated the search page, some of which you can see here. We also updated our policies and procedures page and related administrative documents with new guidelines for core team members. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manahar, Shubur Mittal, Priyanka Singh, Asha Tadamari, and Swati Jayasilan. This week, the team added links to respective profile pages for admins, made all hyperlinks automatically active when entering work descriptions, updated hour and minute inputs to accept zero as an answer, updated the action item section such that only the user for whom time log is being viewed shows up in the select user dropdown, implemented an add new team feature to the new project page and the project detail page, and created several test report options while integrating Google Charts. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this idea and this concept of Earth Care Teacher Demonstration Hubs. Open source, free share, designed to provide something for everybody. And if we can make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, they will spread on their own. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information there. All of our work is there. Check it out. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Tumblr. We're on Reddit. We're on Instagram. We're on Pinterest and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. So if you'd like to manage your updates that way, uh, check us out on whichever one you're most interested in. Also, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, share our information, like this video, uh, go to our website, share the pages that you resonate with most, or visit any of our social media networks and just hit the like on the post that we're posting up there. Makes a big difference. We do appreciate it. Uh, donations, of course, are also appreciated. We are 100% 100% unpaid nonprofit but unpaid volunteer staff. And so 100% of donations goes to forwarding our mission. It doesn't go to paychecks for me or anybody else because we're all volunteers. So if you're somebody that's donated to us or considering donating to us, we really do appreciate it. Thanks for your support. And of course, just thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the comments we get. Thank you for the emails we get. Thank you for all our progress in whatever way works best for you. We do appreciate it. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.